the time of my diagnosis, I was at a pretty good pinnacle of my life. Things were going well, then all of a sudden, bam, I received the diagnosis of cancer. The first thought that went through my mind is, I'm too young for this. Well, how, can, how on earth can I have prostate cancer? Then the doctors explained that, that uh, it's not too often that they have uh, somebody my age, but it does happen. It was initially very scary, and my wife and I weren't sure what to do. In fact, um, spent the first 13 minutes having a pity party, but then realized it was time for business, time to make a decision of the rest, for the rest of my life. So for people with the new, a new diagnosis of cancer, it's, it's a scary word. However, for men with prostate cancer, they have to know that this is a very curable situation. There are many treatment options available, and HDR brachytherapy is probably, in my mind, the best one. It has a minimal toxicity profile, has excellent cure rates, and it has the potential of preserving the erectile function better than anything else. For an attempt at cure, one of those options is HDR, high dose rate radiation therapy, which is basically taking a patient into the cancer center and putting small radiation source seeds, like seeds in an apple, to provide them with an attempted cure in two separate sittings. One of the most beneficial things about HDR is that the patient does not leave the center radioactive. They get the radiation source, they get treated, the cancer is potentially killed. As soon as they leave, they can be with their family, they can be with patients who are pregnant, little children, they don't have to stay away. They can go back to work two days later. Then they come back two weeks later, we do the same thing, and they're potentially cured. We check the PSA a month later. If the numbers are good, we just continue to monitor them every three months for a defined period of time, and we consider them, hopefully, a potential cure. When I see a patient that's been diagnosed with prostate cancer, it's important for me to have a discussion with them about all the available treatment options. I assure them that if you're referred for HDR brachy treatment, then I will continue to be a, an active participant in their treatment, which I think gives them some assurance that their urologist is involved in the, the planning of the treatment and uh, the actual treatment itself. So we have a team relationship with the urologist. They like the procedure, so they feel very comfortable sending their patients for the procedure rather than just take them to surgery. When we looked at the HDR treatment, we knew that it was the best choice for me. It had the least amount of side effects um, in comparison to the eight weeks of external radiation and total removal. So the quality of the treatment are the best, probably, in my mind. The cost, the cost of the treatment are less than, for example, external beam radiation therapy, and patient satisfaction is maximal. This HDR treatment is cutting edge. When we discovered about it, we realized that it was something that um, my wife and I both agreed. It wasn't even close to a choice. So the radiobiology of the prostate cancer is better understood now than, than in the past. So we know that prostate cancer will respond much better to higher doses of radiation that are delivered in a fewer fractions. And HDR was the ideal vehicle for this type of fractionation, which we call hypofractionated, so less fractions, less, less treatments. Um, this is uh, much better for the patients. Check all your options and, and see if you're a candidate for the HDR treatment. Uh, versus 41 external radiation treatments or total removal of the prostate, HDR treatment is a cutting edge that only has two treatments. But nowadays, there's not a difference between external beam radiation, brachytherapy, or surgery, only that this type of brachytherapy is much smoother and better tolerated than any other treatments and it doesn't take that long. The side effects are less, um, the, the treatment is less time. It was, it was just a bar none, the best choice we could have made for prostate cancer treatment. When I look back in my experience in my treatments here uh, for prostate cancer, I, I can't help but think about my wife and daughters and know that, that with much confidence that I am cancer free. Every day I, I am grateful for the treatments that I've had. Every day I'm grateful for the fact that I have another day of life. And even more so, long term, I'm very confident that we've taken care of uh, the cancer that was once in my body.